the absolute 10 best flankers in my collection. Stay tuned and we'll get into it. This channel is Stylish Irishman, and I'm a Stylish Irishman. So the mother tells me. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Matt here. So we're getting into my list here now of the 10 best flankers in my collection, and personally, I think they're probably 10 of the best flankers you can probably get in the market. So guys, just before I start the video, if you don't know what a flanker is, a flanker is basically another version of an original fragrance. So for example, Loam came out by YSL. That's the first fragrance that came out in the line, and then Lanouille de Lome came out. So that's the Knight of the Man, which is a flanker of Lome. Another example would be One Million. The original One Million came out, and there has been a few flankers, but One Million Lucky is another flanker of One Million. So that's what a flanker is, is just using the same name, bringing out another fragrance. Sometimes it's the same scent, but slightly different, and other times it's a completely different scent. So that's what a flanker is, and we're gonna get straight into the list now. So guys, before we get into the list, if you haven't already, please give the video a like. Thanks so much for doing that as well, I really appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Join the SI fam, the best fragrance family on YouTube. And you can believe that. Okay, so number 10 on the list is Invictus Aqua by Paco Rabanne. So the original Invictus is very sweet, bubblegum kind of a scent. It is somewhat aquatic, the original, I do feel that it's a bit aquatic, but this is stepping up the aquatic side of it. So this here has the addition of yuzu, which is a fruit that's not used in too many fragrances. I've smelled it once or twice, but it's not overly used. It really smells like a more bitter version of grapefruit or something, but it's really nice. This is the 2016 version, and there's a 2018 formulation which has slightly changed. Uh, there's not too much of a difference, but this one does perform a good bit better and there is a slight difference to the scent But I wouldn't go look and spend loads of money on this to be honest This isn't a groundbreaking fragrance or anything people do speak highly of the 2016 formulation, but it is It is very fairly generic. Uh, it's not going to be something that's going to blow you away I think it just has be small performance and it's great. Uh, it's great for a full day or if you're going out for a long night and you want something to last, this will work for you in the summer. I'd wear it to a festival or something like that, but yeah, that's Invictus Aqua by Paco Rabanne, number 10. So the number nine best flanker is Ultra Male by Jean-Paul Gaultier. So this is a flanker to the original Le Mal. Everybody knows Le Mal. It's known for the nice mint scent. Really nice. Everyone wears it. This is a different version of this has the addition of pear in here. So this is much sweeter. You'd wear this on a night out. Lasts for ages. Was rumored to be discontinued there at one stage, but still readily available on the market. Very nice scent. Women like this. Women also say they like to wear this. I actually really enjoy this one. I like to wear one spray if I'm not going out or anything like that. It's very strong. So if you're going out, you'd put on two or three sprays of this, it'll last you for the night. It's not something you could wear every day. You might be able to put one spray on if you want to wear it casually or that, but it is very powerful scent and very kind of youthful, playful scent. So it's not something you'd wear to work around like that, but I definitely recommend you give it a try. I really enjoy this one. That's Ultra Male by Jean-Paul Gaultier. So number eight on the list is Pure Malt by Terry Moogler. So this is the this is one of many flankers to the original Amen DNA and Amen is known for the, the tar kind of a scent and there's peat in this one along with malt and fruity notes. Now I really enjoy malt shakes, I don't know if you've ever had a malt shake but in Eddie Rockets here in Ireland they sell milkshakes and malt shakes and malt shakes are basically just milkshakes with malt mixed in. It's kind of really nice sweet kind of unusual flavor in a vanilla milkshake and I really enjoy that but that's why I love this one. This is probably my favorite flanker of the Amen line. So this has malt in it and fruity notes. It is a bit more mature I think. I don't think this is some young lad is going to want this. Some young lad in his teens is going to want to wear this one. It's definitely someone from their mid-twenties onwards would, would enjoy this one. But if you like malt it's really enjoyable take on the Amen DNA and that's pure malt, definitely my favorite on the Amen line at number eight. Number seven on the list is Alorum Sport O Extreme by Chanel. 
So this bean has tonka bean, mandarin orange and mint. The tonka bean mixed with the mandarin orange is gorgeous. This is a great dumb reach, very versatile scent, very masculine, lasts for ages. Uh, people who complain about the performance of their versions of this, this is an eau de parfum version and there was a previous eau de toilette version that apparently lasted longer. I've this lasts me at least 10 hours on my skin. So I wouldn't believe any of that stuff. This lasts at least 10 hours. Now I have this about two years, so not sure about current formulations. Aloram Sport Eau Extreme, a great mix of tonka bean and mandarin orange. Really nice masculine scent and a great versatile fragrance that I think every man should have in his collection. So that's number seven. Case number six on the list I don't have with me now at the moment, but I put a picture of it up here for you and it's Coach Platinum for men. Really enjoy this one, I sampled this a while back. I have done a comparison of Coach Platinum for Men versus Coach for Men on my channel. If you'd like to see it, I'll link it up there in the top. Um, but Coach Platinum for Men is basically a much sweeter version of Coach for Men. I don't really get much of the original Coach in it, but it has pineapple in there and it's much sweeter. So it's something you'd wear kind of now in the autumn, winter. I wouldn't really wear it in the summer because it's very sweet, but it's a really nice flanker, much better than the original. The original Coach for Men, personally, I don't like it too much. I have it, uh, but it's very, very generic. But Coach Platinum definitely is worth buying, even if you have the original Coach, because it's different. And if you enjoy a sweet fragrance, it's really nice, has a really nice bottle. But I'd highly recommend you try Coach Platinum for Men. That's number six. Don't know if you noticed, but I made the bang there, even though I don't have a bottle. <laughs> Number five on the list is Aqua de Joe Profumo. So you'll all definitely have heard of this one. So the original Aqua de Joe was released, I think, in 1996. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. The original Aqua de Joe mixed with incense and patchouli. You probably heard this a thousand times if you watch fragrance video. But that's basically what it is. It adds a bit more masculinity and a bit more performance. But this is by far probably one of the best flankers and the, the most well-known flankers out there. Lasts all day, very versatile, really recommend Aqua Joe Profumo. And number five. So number four on the list guys is Valentino Uomo Intense. So you'll also have probably heard of this one before too. So this is a flanker to the original Valentino Uomo, which is kind of, kind of has a hazelnutty kind of scent. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't have too much experience with it. This one is a different version, completely different scent. This one has iris, so this is known for its iris. And this channel is Stylish Iris, man. <laughs> so the main accord you're gonna get in here is iris. And there's a bit of leather mixed in there too, but this is a really nice, sweet fragrance. The bottle is perfect for this one. It's a really nice, clean, well put together scent. I'd really recommend to try this one out. People love this one for a reason. I think you should definitely give it a try if you haven't, it's well worth it. So that's Valentino Uomo Intense at number four. So number three on the list is Hugo Boss Descent Private Accord. So if you watch my channel, you know I mentioned this a good bit recently, but it's cause it's coming into time of year now where I can actually wear this. Um, so there's dark chocolate in here and maninka fruit. So maninka fruit is what the scent line is based on. But this one, I actually think there's more dark chocolate in it. So if you smell even the cap, you can get the dark chocolate before you get the manka fruit. So I really like this. If you're into chocolate kind of sweet scents, you should definitely try Private Accord by Hugo Boss. This is a much better fragrance than the original Descent. And I really enjoy it. I think I speak highly of this one now over the last few weeks. And I've started to wear it a bit myself as well because it's actually got a bit colder here in Ireland. So that's Descent Private Accord. Number three. And highly recommend it. Number two, you probably think this is going to be number one if you follow my channel, but uh, I have a new one for the list. But this is number two, and it's La Nuit de Lone by YSL. So this is my top favorite fragrance, along with Endymion by Penhaligans, if you don't watch the channel. But La Nuit de Lone, if you haven't heard about it, I don't know where you've been, but this is a lavender and cardamom fragrance. The old formulations are said to be better. I don't think so, to be honest. I have a 2009 formulation and a 2014 formulation. And this here is my 2018 bottle, which is basically gone. There's about three sprays left in it. But I think this is absolutely gorgeous. I, I prefer the current formulation. It's a bit zingier, is a bit more versatile. It would definitely work all year round, as opposed to the older formulation only working in the colder months, in my opinion. 
but this is a stunning scent if you haven't got this if your boyfriend hasn't got this just buy it like this is so nice and weed alone by ysl is definitely one of the best flankers you're ever gonna get it's number two okay guys so number one on the list i actually don't have a bottle with me at the moment but i have one on the way in the post i just recently fell in love with this one and i really need to put it on the channel so number one on the list is one million Privé by packer Raban. so this is a flanker to the original one million but this one is absolutely gorgeous I remember hearing before, and I can't pinpoint who it was, but another YouTuber a few years ago said in his video that it's probably one of the best openings he's ever smelt, and I really agree with that. I uh, I put my nose on this there last week or the week before, again, to give it another try, because I remember trying it before, didn't really think too much of it, and I just sprayed it on my hand, and my God, it's absolutely gorgeous. One million Privé, if you don't have it, get your nose on it cinnamon and mandarin orange are the top notes and that's what you get straight away but it's absolutely gorgeous the tobacco comes in then to the base it's a perfect scent for the cold weather absolutely perfect and i can't wait to wear this now throughout the autumn and winter this year make some memories of it but one million privé it doesn't get mentioned too much anymore but i think it should and i'm going to start bringing it up more often one million privé by packer abana number one Give it a try guys, you won't regret it. That's it for this one anyway guys. Please give the video a like if you haven't already. Really appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Join the SI fam, the best fragrance family on YouTube. That's it for this one anyway guys. Take it handy. God bless.